Hey, Hot Shots, Jess of the Emotional Fire Academy here today to talk about the secret to being wildly confident as a highly sensitive person. Subscribe to my channel if you are an HSP looking to evolve, up level, transcend, ditch the bad parts of your HSP and keep the good parts. That's what we do here at Emotional Fire Academy. Welcome. I'm Jess. I am a NLP master practitioner and former firefighter. Thank you to everyone who filled out my survey. I really appreciate you. I've been gathering some great information and really talking to fellow HSPs this week. So thank you to everyone who participated in that. The winner will be announced today in the community tab on my YouTube and notified by email. So check that out to see who won the one hour coaching session with me to possibly maybe become wildly confident or whatever that person chooses. <laughs> Um, yeah, so let's jump right in. I want to read a quote to you from Abraham Hicks that kind of describes what I'm going to get into. I think it's a great uh, primer. So here we go. Diving right in. One who is mostly an observer thrives in good times but suffers in bad times because what he is observing is already vibrating. And as he observes it, he includes it in his vibrational countenance. As he includes it, the universe accept that, accepts that as his point of attraction and gives him more of it. So the better it gets, the better it gets. Or the worse it gets, the worse it gets. While one who is a visionary thrives in all times. So what does this mean? This means that when we're talking about, you know, developing these traits of wild confidence, I speak from experience on this. I've been where you are, wherever you are, because I've been the whole gamut. I've been the entire spectrum of confidence to not believing in myself at all and dissolving into everybody else and giving and overgiving, you know, to where I am right now, which is, I would feel is on the other end of wild confidence. So this, when we kind of take a bird's eye view we can get an idea of what's happening and then how to move into these spaces a little bit more easier, a little bit easier, <laughs> more easily. There we go. Uh, and I kind of look at it as there's two layers. There's two layers of reality. So you want to become wildly confident. This is what you have to do. Here it is laid out the secret. You have to develop two layers of reality. It feels like when you go to the movie theater and you watch a movie, right? You know that what's on the screen isn't really, like you get drawn in and you're enjoying the movie and feeling the emotions maybe, but behind that feeling is the safety of like, yeah, but I know that that's just a movie. You know, I know it's just a movie. So there's these like two layers where the outside layer is the movie and then the inside layer is your own reality, your own experience, your own, you know, your version of reality and the movie is the outside version. It could also feel like snuggling under the covers when you're under the covers and it's like a Sunday morning and you know that there's an outside world out there, but you don't have to pay attention to it. You know, it's out there doing its thing. You know that it's out there. You're aware of its existence, but you're under the covers. You're like safe and snuggled in and warm. And you're like, yeah, it's great in here. That's, it's kind of the same feeling too, where there's two layers, you under the covers where everything is awesome, the outside world chugging along, doing its thing, going to hell in a handbasket or whatever you believe about the outside world. So when we want to develop wild confidence, what we have to do is consciously create this double layer. We're, we're intentionally creating this double layer in order to be confident in order to have confident about confidence about ourselves or about a goal. And so there's the outside world of reality. And this is kind of what Abraham Hicks was talking about in the quote. If, if you are, if, if this doesn't exist, if you're not doing this, you're just reacting to reality. You're, you're kind of showing up a little late to the party because it's already happened right? You're reacting to it after it's happened or while it's happening or after that's, you know, kind of old news. And the classic HSP traits are, you know, 
depth of processing. So you're overthinking about this layer. You're emotionally reacting to this layer. You're, you might be, sorry, I'm not uh, saying that you're doing or assuming that you're doing these things. This is what I was doing when I was fully in my HSP. Um, you are sensitive to the subtle stimuli of this reality. You know, you're, you're just hyper-focused on this reality. Uh, you get overwhelmed easily by this reality because you're paying so much attention to this reality. So what do we do? To be, we have to have the courage, the tenacity, and the gumption to then start crafting our chosen reality. Our chosen reality. What do we want? We want to be wildly confident. We want to really believe in ourselves. We want to know we can do anything. And so we start practicing the thoughts and feelings and go back to the emotional fire triangle, the thoughts and the feelings of someone who is in that reality. We just practice, we're practicing them. We're practicing them. We're practicing them. And they gain traction within us. You know, it becomes habitual. And so our chosen reality is the one that we're loyal to. It be, then becomes a matter of, it's not that we totally ignore reality or that we're not aware of it. We are. We're existing in the world. We're going about our day. But underneath, we're like, I've practiced this so much in my mind. I've seen it so much in my mind. I've tapped into the knowing of it so much in my mind. I know this is going to be happen. I know if we're talking about a goal, I know I'm an amazing person. Doesn't matter whether the world says no or yes to me. I know I'm going to get what I want. I know I, you know, and this is going to happen. Something's going to happen. We're going to create something. This is where we start creating a reality. And what is confidence but loyalty to this bottom layer? Loyal, being totally loyal to it. Totally, completely, 100% loyal. That doesn't mean, you know, you have a bad moment and you pop back up here and you're like, oh, you just go back down. You go back down. But maintaining a sense of wild confidence and I don't, no matter what I see up here, no matter what's happening, no matter what is presenting itself to me, I'm here. I'm on this path. I'm walking this path. I'm, I'm deeply ingrained in what I believe and what I know and what I trust. Nothing is going to shake me from that. That is confidence. That's wild confidence. That is radical confidence. To be able to see the, this layer and be like, that's like a movie. You know, that's, that's happening. And yeah, I might get drawn in every once in a while and feel the emotions. But deep down, I know what the real truth is. I know what the real truth is. And that's wild confidence. That is that loyalty. And that's a choice we can make. That's, this isn't a natural character trait. This is something we learn. We learn wild confidence. We learn how to be faithful and loyal to that layer of reality. And that's confidence. And I really think, you know, when we're on, when we're so loyal to this, you know, we feel emotionally satisfied, fulfilled, unruffled. We're not on this roller coaster anymore. We're, we're even, we're steady because we know, we know where we are, where we're going, what's going to happen. We, we're confident of it. That's the only reality we're accepting. Like this stuff comes and goes, passes. The world is fickle. You know, people are fickle. People out there are fickle. People say yes and then they say no. Then they say no and then they say yes. Jobs come and go. You know, political events come and go. Presidents come and go. COVID comes and goes. <laughs> like it's fic the world is constantly in a state of flux. This is solid. This feels solid. It feels stable. It feels like I'm cool, calm, and collected. I know exactly what's happening. I can, I can stand in the midst of this chaos knowing that this is really where my loyalty lies. You know, it's kind of like a secret. It's like when you're throwing a surprise party for someone and they're like, oh yeah, I'm going to go to the grocery store too. And you're thinking, uh, yeah, no, you're not. You're going to be at the surprise party. <laughs> That's also kind of what it feels like. I had this realization from the point of like wanting to describe it to you and what it feels like. And that's kind of what it feels like is like, mm, you may think that's what's happening, but this is, I know this is really what's happening. And then not crossing the streams, 
You know, you really keep them separate. And the magic, friends, the magic that happens when you are so faithful to this, when you are so loyal to this, the magical thing that begins to happen is that you begin to have the crossover. You have these synchronicities, right? Where bits and pieces of this reality start to drip down into yours. Where you're seeing things that are like, oh yeah, that's coming. It's coming. And that's the magical, wonderful, juicy, creative part of this, of being wildly confident is starting to see the signs that these two are emerging. Because at first, you're not going to have the expectation. You're just going to establish this, you know, be loyal to your reality. Know it's going to happen. Be faithful to it. Dig in. Use that stubbornness. If you have a stubborn streak in you, use it here. Dig into that. Be stubborn. Be like, this is the only reality I'm accepting. And I know it's going to come to pass. Because really, we're creating a reality. This is, these are just t- tips and tricks to do this from the inside out. So when you're loyal to that, like I said, it, you start to see these synchronicities. And then one day you've woken up and these two layers have merged. These two layers of reality have completely merged. And that's how you create your reality. Like that, that's really how you go from what I see as the negative aspects of being highly sensitive, attending to this reality, being a, a hand servant of this reality. You don't have to do that anymore. You don't have to. From this moment on, you can, you can do this. You can do this. Seriously. You can quit doting on this, giving it attention, reacting to it, giving it power, and start, start crafting your chosen reality. In that, you will be wildly confident. Because confidence is what? Being cool, calm, collected, being unshakable, being unflappable, knowing that what you want is coming to pass. Yeah, in your reality. So go there. Become wildly confident. Leave behind the crappy parts of being highly sensitive. Being overwhelmed by this. Being like, oh gosh, it's exa- it was exhausting. I'm telling you, from someone who now lives this way, and has lived this way for quite a while, and continues to live this way, and gets stronger in living this way. Man, this is, it's so, it's a placid lake. (laughs) It really is. Every once in a while, there's a tiny little ripple, but you, you choose to live like this. You choose to leave behind the traditional, just existing in reality, and you start to take control of your reality. That's where you become confident, emotionally stable, calm, cool, collected, all those things that you want to be confident. So let me know what you thought. Drop a comment below. If you haven't checked out my mini course, Emotional Mastery Basics for HSPs, that is still available for only $8. And thanks for watching. Have a great day. Go out there and take life by the horns. Make your chosen level or layer of reality and be faithful to it, friends. You can do this. I believe in you. Bye.